Now you can look at film. Hey, at the end of the game, Christian Wood is a very good player. Call that timeout. Go call, call that timeout. timeout. Call you that don't it. have a timeout. Just wait a second. Calm your mind. Give it to the guy. Mm-hmm. Spread the floor. Be ready to shoot the ball. Like, it, it just... You know. It would be interesting to see if they had a timeout. Right. We got to find, you know. Well, no, I got it right here. They did have a they timeout. Have a time- yeah, they had a timeout if, remaining. If that initial <laughs> push wasn't there, yeah. that's when the coach right. about right there came in. Let's make sure we draw up a play. Like you said, especially with a young team to get a quality shot. Yeah. And you saw Coach Silas in the replay. He had his hands up. It, it, I don't know if that's for maybe a lack of a call or maybe he was expecting them to call a timeout. Either way, the Rockets take an L in this when they are 1-7 and seven on the season. Now, let's look at these big threes. Mm-hmm. Channing, you know about hitting big threes and big games. Aaron Gordon was struggling in this one, but still managed to knock these big shots down. Well, Aaron Gordon went to the University of Arizona. So he <laughs> oh, stays, oh, I, I set him up. I set him up. He's ready. <laughs> yeah. But, man, Aaron Gordon was a big pickup by them. And you see here, he just raises up. He's an elite athlete who has fit into his role. He doesn't have to get great numbers. He's going to guard your best player. He's going to cut. He's going to finish. And then for them, Whenever Jamal Murray comes back, they're going to be very dangerous. If Jamal Murray comes back anything like what he left, they're going to be a really dangerous team. So we see Michael Porter Jr., who exits this game with back soreness, only plays seven minutes. He gets paid in the offseason, has plenty of high expectations. You know Jamal Murray, we don't know when he's going to return. So far, he hasn't fulfilled what everybody's expected him to do. Looking at the big picture for the Nuggets, what is it going to take? For, cause is it going to be a, a, a by committee situation, or should we expect him to actually come in and fill those expectations that everybody thought? I mean, well, the talent is there. We saw what he could do last year as far as scoring the ball. So your expectations are that he's going to progress to another level, take it to another level scoring-wise. But you got to give the defenses of the NBA a lot of credit, too, because they've had time to scout. Right. And read and understand what he does and what he doesn't do. So now the scouting report is going to include him as the second guy that Jamal Murray is not there that we need to take away and to make him feel uncomfortable. Now the coaching staff for the Nuggets has to do a better job of putting Michael Porter in a situation where he gets some good looks. But at the end of the day, Michael Porter has to make it easier on himself as well. Learn how to play off Jokic. Learn how to play off your other uh, teammates in order to get those easier looks instead of trying to go one-on-one and force in the situation because in the 82-game season, bro, it is hard when you're the number two guy to have to try to go through the defenses when you're still trying to figure out how to play in this league. I mean, I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> Our expectations don't matter. He already got the bag. He got the bag. <laughs> he got the bag already. You should be living free of mind. All you got to do is go hoop, right? Just go hoop. And, and to put things in perspective – if you took out the year that he missed because of his back, he should be a senior in college. Mm. This kid, he didn't even play in high school mostly because of injury. He didn't play in college. He's still learning how to play basketball. Because you know what they used to do at AU? Here, you're the most talented. Here's the ball. And he would go, oh, I'm 6'9". Well, Hobson got a crazy jumper. Wop, wop, wop. And then, hey, he's in the league. He has to learn how to understand the play. So last year, he would stand in a corner or get his transition threes. Mm-hmm. This year, they're like, oh, hey, the second best defender is going to guard you. Uh-huh. Maybe the first most of the time. Yep. So he's going to struggle. But his mind and his confidence should not be wavered. You already got the bag. They see what you're going to be. So you just need to study and dive into and, and sacrifice your time and your body and your energy to the game because you have the talent to be special. Mm-hmm. And that's why everyone's kind of tough on you is because they want to see yep. the improvement. And if, they, if you were a scrub, we'd be like, well, that's just him. <laughs> that's just him. But no, he is that good. He's that special. Yep. So, you know, Michael Porter Jr., take care of that back. And then come out here and just hoop, man. You have to 